Welcome to the Control M for Workload Automation video series. In this video, we will show you how to pass the file name of a watch file as a variable to another job. We will be using the Control M for Advanced File Transfer File Watcher job to capture the file name of the watch file, and then we will use the remote order post processing action to pass the variable to another job. Let me show you how this job has been defined in the Control M for Workload Automation GUI. Here is our um, file watcher job. Let's go ahead and click on properties. And as you can see, this job is looking for any file name in our test DIR directory. The important piece here is you have to click on advance and click on the file watcher tab and make sure you fill up the auto edit or the variable that you want to capture the detected file name in. In this case, we are going to use the variable df. As we mentioned in the introduction, we are going to pass that detected file name in to another job that we are going to order using the remote order job. As you can see on the actions tab, we have this undo action when the job ends OK. That's when we detect the file we are looking for. We are going to order this job, which happens to be on a mainframe system uh, from folder remforce with a job name of CMB2 rem1. And here is where we pass the variable. So the variable we are going to be using is named AFT underscore file, and it will be set to the variable value of the our percent percent df, which is the variable we are using to capture the file that we are watching for. Let's take a quick look at that control M for ZOS job that we will be ordering using the remote order. I have it on another workspace here and I'll just pull it up. And as you can see, what I wanted to show you here is that there is no variable on the definition of the job. In the interest of time, we've ordered our file watcher job earlier so we can show you how it ran. Um, let's go ahead and look for the output of our file watcher job. As you can see, it ran and it file watch for wildcarded in the directory test dir. And it has found our file name time file one. If we look at the log, we can see that it has performed our post-processing action to remote order our control M for ZOS job, and it has ordered it based on these logs. Now to show you that we have actually passed our file name variable to the job we remote ordered, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the CMB2 REM1 that we ordered via the post-processing action. If we look at the properties and scroll down to where the variables are, remember I showed you before that this job was did not have any variable definition in in the in the in its definition, but in here on the job that run you can see that it has the variable aft underscore file and the value of that variable is time file one which happened to be the file that our file watcher job was able to detect that concludes this control m solutions video thank you for watching please check our knowledge base and youtube channel for more videos like this